Um, the next thing I'm going to do is inspect your abdomen. So I'll move that over there for now. Looking for symmetry, any bulges or sinking in the abdomen. Um, everything looks good on her. So next thing I'm going to do is listen for bowel sounds. Um, and then I will go into um, arteries in your abdomen as well. So we'll have, I'll name them as we go through them. So first, listen for bowel sounds. Could you like pull your shorts down a little bit so I can, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're listening for bowel sounds starting in the right lower quadrant. Right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant. Left lower quadrant. Okay. Uh, we're listening for gurgling sounds there, so about five gurgles at each spot. Um, next, I'm going to listen to your arteries in your abdomen, um, starting with the aortic, and I'm going to use the bow side for this because we're listening for any bruits, just like in the carotid, so. This is your aortic. And then renal. Then other renal. And then iliac. Okay, and then I have to find your femoral pulses, so see if I can find it. Okay, now do you mind lifting your short leg up a little so I can listen? Okay. Okay, and then same thing on the other side. This one could be ticklish, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, everything sounds good. The next thing that I have to do is um percuss your abdomen so i'm gonna like i did on your lungs i'm gonna do that in a few spots in each quadrant um looking for a timpani sound and then i will also go up by your liver and look for a doll sound so sorry this tickles <laughs> i know <laughs> okay those all sound good and then Find your liver border by your rib cage. So that sounds more dull than the other areas, which is what we want. And then the next thing will be um, light palpation. So I'm just gonna feel on your stomach, um, not press very hard, but we're looking for any masses or bulging or anything um, on the inside. And just let me know if anything hurts. Okay, and then deep palpation, so I'm just going to push harder and use more circular motions for this. Again, let me know if anything hurts. Okay, everything feels good. Um, now I'm going to move down to... 
Next, I'm gonna move into checking your abdomen. Do you have any complaints about anything? No. Any issues? Okay, if I could just have you lay down if you don't mind. Okay, I'm just gonna to have to lift up your shirt to look. And I'm going to listen first. Gonna move these a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to feel for the liver and the spleen. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start by percussing. So I'm gonna start from down here. Mm -hmm. And percuss for your liver. Okay. And when you feel for dullness, that's when you've located the liver. Now I'm going to um, palpate for the liver. I'm gonna feel for the liver. This might be a little uncomfortable. I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath and I'm gonna push down and feel for the liver, okay? On the count of three. Oh. One, two, three. Good. And now I'm going to check for the spleen. Same thing. I'm going to ask you to just give me a chance to feel for that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now I'm just going to also palpate in the rest of your abdomen, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off light, go a little deeper, and then a little deeper, mm -hmm. okay? Now I'm going to check, um, I'm going to do a test to check for gallbladder, um, tenderness or any kind of uncomfortableness with the, with the gallbladder. I'm just going to push down and, and you'll, you will let me know if it hurts, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to do a couple of tests to check for appendicitis or um, any abdominal um, inflammation mm -hmm. and also your hip flexors, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to bend at the hip and bend at the knee, mm -hmm. and just allow me to move your leg. And okay. if you have any discomfort, just let me know. Cool. Okay, Fine. good. Put your leg back out. I'm gonna have you just raise your leg a little bit, and now do not allow me to push down, resist. Good, very good. So, okay, Samantha, next we're gonna go ahead and um, examine your ab abdomen. I don't see um, any pulsations or scars or lesions. Your color is uh, white like the rest of your body and um, your abdomen is not distended. It looks nice and flat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just listen in all four quadrants, okay? Okay, your bowel sounds are very active. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go ahead and percuss your all four quadrants, okay? 
so um, I'm gonna have to step over here <laughs> okay Okay, I don't hear any hernias or any obstructions, um, hollow. Um, next, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly palpitate each quadrant, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do deep palpitations next. Let me know if you feel any discomfort, okay? <laughs> okay, I don't feel any obstructions. Thank you, Samantha, for your time today. Thank, Thank you. you. Assessment on a 29-year-old female. I'm gonna start with inspection. Patient's skin color is um, tan, pink. She's got a fine venous pattern going on. Um, gonna check her venous return. Place my fingers on the aorta. Push down. She doesn't have any lesions. She's got a few white straight on her hips. Uh, her abdomen is even, symmetrical, and flat. Her umbilicus is centrally located. There's no displacement, no protrusion. I'm gonna have you go ahead and raise your head up and check for your abdominal muscles, any masses, hernia, or separation. There are no masses, hernia, or separation. You can go ahead and lay back. I'm going to listen to your So bowel sounds are all active in all four quadrants. Now I'm going to listen for an epigastric brewery. I'm going to progress for a gastric air bubble. All right, now I'm going to fill around your stomach. Just nice, slight palpation. Any pain when I do that? No. Okay, there's no resistance, tenderness. I don't feel any masses. 
I'm going to palpate deeply, feel for masses. Any pain when I do that? No. I'm going to palpate her umbilical ring. No masses, no hernia, no protrusion there. All right. And I'm going to feel for your liver. Okay, so moving on to your abdomen, okay, do you have any um, problem with your uh, stool changes like diarrhea or constipation? No. Okay, do you have any pain in the stomach right now? No. Okay, that's good. Okay, I want you to lay down straight. which is already doing make sure you're uh, flexing your knee so to check the abdomen okay so I'm expecting the abdomen there's no any mass or lesions or any um, peristalsis movement and any pulsation anything like that in the abdomen okay so I'm gonna auscultate the abdomen before I do anything I'm able to hear the good uh, bowel movement in the right lower quadrant, so uh, which uh, means that her bowel sounds on all the quadrants are active. If there's no any bowel sound that we can hear in the right lower quadrant, then you we would have listened to all the uh, bowel sounds on all the quadrants. So for now, it's normal. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is the precaution. So with the precaution, this is going to break us right here in the stomach. Okay, uh, so she has a good tympanic sound in the abdomen, which is normal. There's no any um, dullness, which is a lot that she has a masses in her abdomen. When I'm percussing, I'm just gonna um, do the liver span measurement as well. So I need this two things. So I'm going from tympanic of the abdomen on the edges right here. Okay, right here I can hear the dullness. Okay, from the top, I'm going from tympanic to dullness. Okay, right here, I can hear the dullness right here. Okay, so measuring it. Okay, so you can see that it's eight centimeter. Usually normal is six to 12 centimeters, so hers is normal. Okay, so percussion. Now I'm gonna do the light palpation starting uh, with the light one. 
So let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. Just the light. Mm -hmm. I don't feel any masses, any abnormal growth or any um, tenderness or any of um, the bladder. Uh, I don't feel bladder, so uh, there's no any bladder abnormalities, okay? So I'm doing the deep palpation now. Let me know if you feel any pain or anything like that. Any pain, again, I don't feel any mass, any lesions, any growth, abnormal growth, or the um, bladder. I don't feel bladder, so that's normal. Okay, so I'm gonna try to fill the liver. I'll try to fill the liver, so go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Okay, when she was saying that they're taking the deep breath, I was able to feel the liver, and uh, that's normal. Uh, that's using the hooking technique. Um, I'm gonna try to fill the kidney here. Okay, on the other side. Okay, I'm not able to fill the kidney. You're not supposed to uh, fill the kidney until unless the patient is very, very thin. Sometimes you fill the right kidney uh, because just because of its anatomical position, okay? Um, let me see if I can, okay, I'm gonna go on my side. Okay, so I'm here to fill, uh, trying to fill the spleen. So again, using the hooking technique, going in. Take a deep breath for me. Okay, so I'm not able to fill the spleen, which is normal. You're not supposed to fill the spleen. I'm sorry, I'm going to deep. Okay, so when I'm here, I'm gonna do the. Can we switch the mm -hmm. side? Yes, yep. from the right side. Sorry. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna do the Murphy sign. And the Murphy sign, I'm going in deep. Any pain? Anything like that, take a deep breath. Okay, so no any pain, that's negative for the Murphy sign, which uh, tells us that she has no any gallbladder infection. Uh, next is doing the rough skin sign, going on the left side, pressing deep, take a deep breath. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, no pain on the right lower quadrant, no pain. So that's uh, negative for the no negative rough skin sign, which tells us that she has no uh, appendicitis, signs of appendicitis, okay? Next is the Bloomberg sign, which is also known as the uh, rebound tenderness. Uh, I'm gonna deeply palpate and take a deep breath for me. Any pain when I do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, negative for uh, Bloomberg's, Bloomberg's sign. Uh, that's negative for the appendicitis. If she feels pain or um, when I let it go or if she feels uh, pain when she's doing the deep breathing, so that tells us that she is positive for appendicitis, okay? Next two tests I'm gonna do is the obturator and the SUA sign. I'll make, go ahead and take, make your legs straight. Okay, push, bend this knee and push against my hand. Okay, any pain on the right lower quadrant? Mm -hmm. No pain, so that's negative for the SUA sign. So that tells us that she's negative for appendicitis. And the next is the obturator sign. So I'm just gonna lift this leg in and out. Any pain on the right lower quadrant? Mm -mm. Okay, that's negative for the SUA sign and uh, that's negative for the signs of any appendicitis. So that's the abdomen. Okay, so when you're laying down here, I'm just gonna feel, feel you lay down and I'm gonna assess your abdominal area. So the abdomen has a um, tan color with a pinkish undertone. Um, I do not see any lesions present. I do not see any extra pulsations or movement. The contour is a flat contour. Um, the abdomen is symmetric bilaterally. And um, yeah, symmetric bilaterally. I don't see any lumps or uh, masses. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, now I'm gonna look at the umbilicus. So the umbilicus is midline, it is inverted and there is no um, signs of discoloration or a hernia. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and auscultate the four quadrants for bowel sounds and I would clean my stethoscope. And I heard a gurgling sound in all four quadrants and it had a frequency of about, um, it would have a frequency of five to 30 times per minute. Um, and it was a high pitched sound. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and perform um, light palpation. So um, tell me if you feel any tenderness or pain in all four quadrants. Any tenderness or pain? Okay, so I would do that. And then next I would do a deep palpation on all four quadrants, which is about five to eight centimeters deep. And then next. Is it okay if I perform an abdominal assessment on you today? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to lift up your shirt. So you're going to expose the stomach and then you're going to want to look at the stomach contour. So you're going to look if it's rounded, protuberant, scaphoid, or flat. The patient's stomach is flat. You're then going to want to look at any pulsations. You can see this typically on a very thin person right above the belly button about here. You would see the aortic pulsation. Um, you're then going to want to look at any char characteristic of the navel if it's inverted or exverted. So her navel is inverted and it looks clean. Um, and then you're going to check for any masses. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to auscultate. You're going to start in the right lower quadrant. You're going to listen for one minute in each quadrant. You're going to go clockwise. If you don't hear any type of sounds, you should hear five to 30 per minute. Then you have to listen to each quadrant for a total of five minutes. You're going to want to know the characteristics of the sounds, if it's hyperactive, hypoactive, or if they're normal. sounds sounds normal you're then going to want to auscultate for bruits or vascular sounds you're going to do this by using the bell of your stethoscope and you're going to locate certain points so you're going to do the aorta the renal arteries the iliac arteries and the femoral arteries You're also going to check for a hernia to see if your patient has one. My patient does not, all sounds sound normal. Um, and then you're also going to perform a palpation. So light palpation is one to two centimeters and deep palpation is four to five centimeters. Um, for a light palpation, you're just going to look for any pain, rigidness or tenderness. And for a deep palpation, you're looking for masses, tumors, or any unexplained things within the abdomen. Again, you're going to start in the right lower quadrant. If your patient does have pain, you're going to wait to assess that area of pain till the last. I'm going to use 
three to four fingers and you're going to press down and do a little rub. You're not going to slide your fingers across their skin. And then deep palpation. this back up and now we're going to move on to an abdominal assessment so I'm just going to lift this up first thing I'm going to do is just inspect so I'm getting down at eye level making sure that there's no bumps or lesions to be concerned about I do see you have a piercing have you ever had any issues with that no I just passed out when I got it though you pass out a lot apparently when you get <laughs> tattoos or piercings <laughs> um but after inspecting, I don't see anything that's wrong, so I'm going to auscultate for bowel sounds. With this, I am using my diaphragm, and starting in the right lower quadrant, listening for five gurgles. Moving to the right upper quadrant. Going to the left upper quadrant. And then the left lower quadrant. Okay, perfect. Have you eaten recently? Yeah, I just ate about a couple hours ago. Okay, great. So I heard a lot of sounds. It seemed like they were hyperactive. I want to make sure. Next, I'm going to be listening to the arteries in your stomach. I'm going to be doing this with the bell. I'm assessing for breweries again. So first I'm assessing the aortic. Next I'm moving to the renal. Just two spots. Then I'm moving to the iliac, which also has two spots. All right, and then lastly, we're gonna do your femoral. So if you could just put your shorts up a little bit for me. All right, sliding it in the side here. Seeing anything, and then on the other side. Not hearing anything, so all those look good. Next thing I'm gonna do is percuss in the quadrants of your stomach, or abdomen. Uh, I'm gonna start in your right lower quadrant, doing it a couple times in each quadrant, and I'm listening for timpani. Going to your right upper. Your left upper. And then your uh, left lower. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is some palpation. <laughs> Actually, wait, before we do palpation, I need to percuss up your abdomen towards your liver. Okay. So I'm going to start down here. Okay, so right about here, it seems to get dull, so your liver is about right there. Now that we are done percussing, we are going to move on to palpation. I'm going to start light, and then I'm going to go deep, so just let me know if you have any pain. So starting with light. No pain at no, all? No pain. All right, I'm gonna go deeper now. Still no pain. Okay. All right, great. Well, you're up. One to your abdomen, okay? 
Um, first thing I'm gonna do is listen with the diaphragm and my stethoscope uh, to the four quadrants, okay? This is not gonna hurt. Uh, basically, you can breathe normal. All I'm listening to is your bowel sounds, okay? All right, bowel sounds are normal active in all four quadrants. Um, usually you listen uh, for bowel sounds about 60 seconds, um, but they are normal active um, at this time. Um, from here, I am going to um, uh, lightly palpate uh, the same four quadrants, okay? So let me know if you have any tenderness. Any tenderness? Any tenderness? No. Any tenderness? No. no. Okay. So no tenderness upon light palpation. Um, we are going to do um, with, uh, some deep palpation, which what I'm going to do is get you to take a deep breath. Okay. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Another deep breath. All right, breathe out. Another deep breath. Any tenderness there? I didn't. No. I didn't feel any. Um, uh, or um, magically, uh, there was no obvious um, uh, signs of or organ enlargement. So what I am going to do is also uh, take a deep breath for me. All right, all right. You can relax. Another deep breath for me. Any pain when I do that? No pain on that. Not able to palpate the. The, the kidneys, the right or the left kidney. Sometimes you can palpate the right kidney, uh, but no enlargement as far as that goes. Um, also, um, skin-wise, skin's warm, pink, dry, intact. There's um, no obvious hernias noted. There's no lesions or abnormalities on the um, abdomen. I'm also gonna go ahead and get you to take a deep breath for me. Any pain there? Uh, Murphy's uh, point is uh, negative, or uh, Murphy's sign is negative, which is basically to check for cholecystitis. Usually what happens is when you take a deep breath, I press down, you'll have like a, a pain or a catch there, and you didn't seem like you experienced any of that, correct? Yeah. All right, so right here, I'm gonna um, feel for your McBurney's point. Your McBurney's point is between your umbilicus and your um, il uh, iliac crest. So it's about right here, and what we do is press anything there. So a negative McBurney point is a test for um, appendicitis. We're also, I am gonna press here. Any pain when I do that? And with this test, it um, basically compresses here. It uh, radiates pain over to the right side. So that's how you can tell for the appendicitis as well. And we have two other tests for the appendicitis. And the next one is, I'm gonna get you to lift your leg. And this is uh, any pain when you do that in your lower right quadrant? Nothing. All right, and that's a psoriasis, uh, t uh, basically muscle that runs right along the appendix. When that's ir uh, the appendix is big and irritated, uh, when you move that muscle, it'll irritate the appendix and you'll have pain. And you also have the attruster uh, 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 muscle, which I'm gonna bend your leg. And any pain when I do that? No. All right. So no pain with that. Um, so that is basically a negative test as well, which is no signs of appendicitis. I'm also, while I'm here, I'm gonna palpate your inguinal lymph nodes. Uh, any pain when I do this? Yeah. No. All right, so there's no palpable um, masses or nodes in the inguinal. Um, uh, Good. Next, we're gonna move on to the abdominal stomach. So if you don't mind if I could just have you lay down real quick. Okay. Thank you. So now I'm going to go ahead and show your stomach. So now I'm going to assess your stomach. I see no scars or lesions, skin's intact, um, skin appropriate color for ethnicity, which is good. I don't see any bulgeness or pulsations. Okay, and then contour is flat, which is good. And now I'm going to go ahead and listen to some bowel sounds. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and listen to some Viennese Buries or Hums. Mm -hmm. So, aortic, renal, iliac, 
and then femoral. Okay, seem to be good. So now I'm going to go ahead and lightly palpate your stomach. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. Okay. No. Okay, now I'm going to palpate a little bit more deeper. Okay, perfect. I'll also palpate the inguinal area for any um, lymph nodes or femoral pulses okay. or any um, bulges that are associated with hernias, okay? okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and have you lift up your head for um, abdominal flexion and strength. Now I'm going to palpate around the umbilical area, which is good. And then I don't notice any hernias or any of that sort, which... Hygiene. Um... First, I'm going to start by inspecting. So I'm gonna just lift your shirt up, okay? Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna inspect. Um, skin is even and toned throughout. Um, color is appropriate for race and ethnicity. Uh, contour is flat. Uh, abdominal area is symmetric. Umbilicus is inverted. Uh, there is a piercing noted in the umbilicus. There's no marks, no lesions, no bruising, no masses, no striae. Um, so now I'm going to uh, auscultate. So I'm gonna take my stethoscope and this will be with my diaphragm side first. So I'm gonna do right lower, right upper, left upper, and left lower. And bowel sounds are normal, active, and heard in all four quadrants. Then I'm going to switch to my bell so I can listen um, to the arteries. So first I'm gonna do the aortic. aortic. Right renal. Left renal. Right iliac. Left iliac, right femoral, and left femoral. And no brewery is heard. So then I'm going to palpate. So I'm gonna start over here, working in a circular motion. Any pain? So no pain, no edema, no masses, no lesions noted. Okay. Um, then I am going to percuss. So I'm going to do down here first. Dullness is heard. I am going to have you take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel under the rib. That's the Murphy's test to check for the liver. And then I'm going to have you sit up. And I'm going to percuss over the kidneys. and dullness is heard for that as well. Um, is there anything I can get for you? Okay. We're going to assess your abdomen now. So do you have any pain in your stomach ever? Um, have you had any like sudden weight loss or weight gain? No. No, any changes in your appetite? No. Any nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea? No. Okay, so can I have you lay down for me? Yep. Okay, and then do you want me to jump over here? Okay, so I'm just going to assess your abdomen really quick. So her abdomen is symmetrical, um, she had, her, the contour is flat, and she has no um, skin abnormalities, um, no lesions, nothing like that. Um, I'm going to listen to your bowel sounds really quick. Bowel sounds are active in all four quadrants. I'm going to pop your abdomen really quick. You tell me if you feel any pain or like tenderness anywhere. Okay. Okay. No 
No pain? No. Okay, I also don't feel any rigidity or- We're gonna go ahead and get started. You just need to lay down for me. Sure. Very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift up your shirt a little bit so we can inspect the quadrants okay. in, your, in your abdomen. And I'm just going to go ahead and lower this a little bit. Sure. Okay, there you go. Perfect. So um, we're going to begin by assessing um, your abdominal profile. So we're going to just take a look here. So you have a nice uh, flat stomach. Mm -hmm. um, so that's very good, right? That means it's, everything's normal so far. Um, we're not seeing any um, you know, abnormal growths or um, asymmetry in your abdomen so that's good too mm -hmm. and now we're just gonna go ahead and um, listen to your bowel um, sounds okay okay all right so with your bowel sounds what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start with your right lower quadrant and then we're gonna move in a clockwise manner okay okay all right cool so here we go okay great so we're getting some normal bowel sounds here on the right lower quadrant. Um, very good. Now we're going to move up to the right upper quadrant. So same sounds. Very good. Now we're going to go to the left upper quadrant. Okay. So there's a lot of activity there. Okay. Nice. So we're getting the same... Um, sounds in all four quadrants so your bowel sounds are normal active in all four quadrants which means there's you know good activity there mm -hmm. and um now we're just going to go ahead and proceed with palpation okay so okay. we're going to go in that same circular motion mm -hmm. and then again if you feel any um tenderness or any pain just let me know. okay all right so i'm just going to put this down so i'm just going to do this with one hand for now okay nice so there's no tenderness there's no palpable masses in the right lower quadrant. Now let's move on to the upper. Is it still okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's move to this side. Okay, so same thing, no, no tenderness or unusual um, organ enlargement that we're feeling. Let's move to the left lower quadrant. Very good. So, great. So, during this whole time, you didn't feel any um, discomfort, any pain? No. Right? Okay. Now, we're going to proceed into deep palpation. So, I'm going to have to go just a little bit deeper. I'm going to be applying a little bit more pressure with two hands this time. Okay? Okay. All right. So, we're here at the right lower quadrant. Very good. In here. Okay. So, no pain, no tenderness. No. Okay. How about here? No. Okay. Very good. So we're done with our abdominal assessment. I'm just going to go ahead and pull down your shirt. So according to our findings, um, your bowel sounds are normal active in all four quadrants. There's no tenderness. There are no palpable masses. And there's no, you know, noticeable um, organ enlargement. So thanks so much. Okay. So I would perform pain hygiene. Okay, so we're going to be doing an abdominal assessment today, is that correct? Mm hmm Okay, so first I'm going to have you lift your shirt up. So I'm going to note that her abdomen is flat with even coloration paled um, throughout. Her umbilicus is in the midline. I know a few macules, and I don't know any pulsations in her abdomen. Next, I'm going to auscultate in all four quadrants. So I'm going to start in your right lower quadrant for to test for the ileocecal valve. So I'm just going to have you um, breathe in and out. Five to thirty um, bowel movements, and I didn't hear presence of a bruit, and I heard normal pulsations. Next, I'm going to test or listen for vascular sounds using the diaphragm. 
So I'm going to go two inches below her xiphoid crassus and then two to the left. So I didn't hear um, a bruise, which is expected. Next, I'm going to percuss in all four quadrants. So I'm going to place my hand like, like this, and I'm going to tap. Any pain or tenderness? No? Okay. So I didn't hear dullness and I heard tympanic sounds, which is expected. So next I'm going to um, percuss for CVA tenderness, which would test for a kidney infection. So I'm going to have you sit up. So I'm going to go um, posterior below your 12th rib and I'm going to hit like this. And I'm going to have you tell me if there's any pain or tenderness. Any pain or tenderness? Mm -mm. Any pain or tenderness? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm gonna have you lay back down. So she didn't have pain or tenderness um, below her 12th rib, which is expected. So next I'm gonna palpate in all four quadrants. Um, okay. So let me know if you have any pain or tenderness. So I'm gonna start out with light palpation, which is one to two centimeters. So I didn't feel any masses um, in your stomach, which is expected. Then I would do deep palpation, but that's deferred. So next I'm gonna check for rebound tenderness. So if my patient had pain in her right lower quadrant, I would take my hand at a 90 degree angle and push in. Any pain or tenderness? No. no. If she did have appendicitis, there might be referred pain or tenderness on her left side. So next I would palpate the liver. Um, I could do a hooking technique or the bimanual technique. The hooking technique is where I would stand at her shoulder and when she exhales, I would push down and hook to feel for her liver. And then the bimanual technique is where I would place my left hand under her rib and my right hand on top, and I'm gonna have you inhale and then exhale. And I didn't feel um, for her liver, which is expected. Next, I'm gonna palpate your aorta. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find her xiphoid process and go two centimeters down and to the left. and I'm able to palpate her aorta. Okay. So this concludes our physical assessment. Um, everything that we tested for was in the expected limits and the tests are kept confidential. Um, it's your abdomen. Okay, so your abdomen is round and symmetrical with no visible aortic pulsations and no visible masses. I don't see any. Okay, so next uh, I am just gonna listen to your abdomen, okay? For some bowel sounds. Okay, starting from the bottom. Okay, so I do hear some kinks and gurgles in the right lower, kinks and gurgles in the right upper, kinks and gurgles in the left upper, and kinks and gurgles in the left lower. So just real quickly listen to this area here, as well as the left upper here. So I don't so it's normal active bowel sounds in all four quadrants, and I also don't hear any uh, liver or splenic friction rub as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna percuss your abdomen. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of flip this down a little bit. Okay, starting from the left quadrant, I'm sorry, the uh, right lower quadrant. Okay, so I do hear uh, the abdomen is tympanic with scattered dullness throughout. So next I'm gonna use percussion to measure your liver. I think I hear something. Let me just check again. Okay, so I do hear that. I'm gonna make a quick mark. Okay, very good. Starting from the top again. Okay, 
Oh, there's some in there. Let me just double check. Okay, so I do have here. So I'm gonna make a quick mark here. Very good. And I'm just gonna quickly measure it. Let's see your liver size. Okay, so liver is measured 8.5 centimeters, which is actually within normal range. So now I'm gonna also percuss for your spleen. Please take a deep breath. One more time. Okay, one last time. Okay, so uh, all I heard was timpani and uh, it's negative percussion sign. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna do some light palpations. Okay. Okay, so there's no rigidity or guarding to light palpations and there's no tenderness uh, to palpation as well. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna press a little bit deeper for deep palpation. Okay, so there's also no abdominal rigidity or guarding noted to deeper palpations. Okay, very good. So next I'm gonna palpate for your liver. I'm gonna put this hand underneath here. Okay, just relax this arm right here, yep. You could just re relax there, yep. And then um, take a deep breath while I press into your abdomen. Okay, so I do feel your liver here. All right, edges are sharpened um, and it's smooth and it's non-tender, and there's no palpable irregularities. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna also do that for your spleen. I'm putting one arm here. Take a deep breath. Okay, so your spleen is actually non-palpable, which is completely normal. Okay, perfect. So next, I will be testing abdomen. So if I could have you lay down, and then if you can lift up your shirt. So I'm just going to her, inspect her abdomen um, for symmetry. It looks symmetrical. The skin is very tan and nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't notice any lumps, bumps, or any kind of rashes. Her skin looks very um, clear. Um, her umbilicus is midline, and I guess you could say it's it has a protuberance, I think that's the word. Um, it's like the Audi, that way we call it Audi. Oh. <laughs> um, and what else, what else? Okay, so then I'm just gonna listen to your abdomen, to your bowel sounds. stethoscope's cold. Okay, so I'm going to start in the right lower quadrant. Okay, we hear him there. Got some good, some good bowel sounds. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> all right, bowel sounds heard in all four quadrants. <clears throat> um, and then I'm just going to feel around in your abdomen kind of gently. And let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Nothing. Okay. Um, abdomen is soft and non tender. Um, then I'm just going to do a deep tendon reflex. I'm just going to. Gonna push a little bit hard and then release quickly. Um, this is how we check for appendicitis. If you do have appendicitis, it'll hurt really bad. <laughs> so let me know if there's any tenderness, okay? okay. Anything? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so 